Good evening, everybody. I'm Joe Burke. And I'm Brenda Wood. Action News is next. The president changes his travel plans. We will have details. I'm Jane Siegel. A new book about Memphis and Shelby County's 19th century buildings had its debut tonight. I'll have that story coming up. The Memphis crime problem and solutions are discussed by two mayoral candidates. We'll have those stories, plus Jack has wrestling highlights. And Dave says he's looking for a cold front. All that coming up next on Action News. From the Channel 5 News Center, this is Action News Tonight. With Brenda Wood, Joe Birch, Dave Brown, Jack Eaton, and the first team in Mid-South Television News. Good evening. President Reagan has decided to postpone indefinitely his trip to the Philippines. The president said instead of going to the Philippines, he wants to be in Washington for key congressional votes next month. Reagan said he most reluctantly and with regret has decided not to visit the Philippines, Indonesia, and Thailand in November. The United States Supreme Court has cleared the way tonight for local governments to pass laws banning handguns. Morton Grove, Illinois, north of Chicago, has an ordinance now against anyone possessing a handgun inside the city limits, except lawmen and licensed gun collectors. The Supreme Court has refused to hear a challenge of that ordinance. Here in Memphis, many handgun owners belong to leagues which have shooting contests at places such as the Indoor Shooting Center in Whitehaven. And Janet Morris talked to residents on both sides of the issue about whether handguns should be banned here. Charlie Church, owner of the Indoor Center, says no. Up on Action News, Lou Rawls sings the praises of Beale Street in a brand new album. And a brand new book about Memphis, written and photographed by local folks, makes its debut tonight. We'll have details and more in a moment. Thank you to sports. <laughs> with Jack next, who is Another some soccer action. kind of performance. We'll have soccer. We'll also have Monday Night Wrestling from the Mid-South Coliseum and all sorts of goodies. There it is right there. You're going to see all about that match coming up. Well, it is October, and that means it is playoff and World Series time. Playoff and World Series. Playoffs first. A National League playoffs will start tomorrow night. The game seen right here on TV5 starting at 7, and a pair of left-handers will draw the starting assignments. Steve Carlton, who won 15 and lost 16, will open for the 7-5, paid 254 20 All right, Jack. Thank you. A lot going on. Brenda. Well, up next, Dave Brown with the weather forecast. Yes, for a little change in the weather pattern, which we'll be talking about when we return. Okay. Well, they've promised a change in the weather forecast, so mm -hmm. we're waiting for it. Well, a change in the airflow, anyway, a change in the way the weather systems are moving. That is going to mean a big change in weather forecast in weeks to come. Right now, though, it's a mild night, 75 degrees. Skies are partly cloudy, and our winds tonight are out of the south at 9 miles per hour. Here's a look at all that information. For the barometer, it's rising, 29.96. The cold front is now in Missouri, as we said, Oklahoma, Texas. It is moving our way. I expect it through here sometime late tomorrow afternoon, early tomorrow night. There are a few thunderstorms building up ahead of it. The heaviest are in Oklahoma at this 63, the low in Corinth and in Tupelo. Here in Memphis tonight, skies will be partly cloudy to mostly clear. Thin clouds, 67 again, the low, the wind southwest at 12. Rush hour, partly sunny in 69. Winds out of the southwest at 10. Rest of the day, partly cloudy in 88. Southwest winds at 20 miles per hour. The outlook for the next five days, low temperatures will be in the 50s most of this week. High temperatures will be in the 80s, 88 tomorrow, but then mid to low 80s for the rest of the week. Best chance for showers comes sometime tomorrow night. Rest of the week's going to be dry. It's going to be cool, too, in the mm -hmm. evenings. Thanks a lot, Dave. Joe? Well, it's a good-looking week from Dave, and we have more to come on Action News.